everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni. Have you ever struggled with how to style full leather leggings or just leggings in general? It doesn't need to necessarily be full leather, but if you do struggle with how to style leggings, this video is for you. Let's get started. In all of the outfits, I'm only using one pair of leggings and those are the Spanx full leather leggings. If you know anything about Spanx, you know that they suck you in. There's nothing worse than all that extra just hanging out, which is why I love the Spanx faux leather leggings. If you saw my Walmart fall haul video, I had a pair of faux leather leggings from Walmart in there that I styled an outfit with. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll leave a card above. In that video, I mentioned the Spanx full leather leggings and how the ones from Walmart, clearly they do not compare. From the price point not being comparable to the quality, to the fit, all of those, the leather leggings from Spanx, but this can apply to any leggings. So let's get started because I'm sure you're tired of hearing me ramble. In all of these outfits, you'll notice one common denominator, and that is that I try to cover my front area along with my bum. I wouldn't be so opposed to having the bum show a little bit, but the front area with leggings, well, you get it. I don't need to go into it, but anyway. So I do try to cover the, you know, the whole bottom part of the outfit but that may be something that doesn't appeal to you. You don't need to you feel more than comfortable. Do whatever makes you comfortable and whatever makes you happy. Clearly, for me, I just want to cover a little bit more. But still be able to wear leggings within my comfort zone. So the first outfit, I paired the leggings with just a silky button-down black. I went with an all-black outfit except for the footwear. I actually paired it with... A snake skin booty which you've probably have seen in my videos before i just like the all black look clearly who doesn't but i wanted to add just a little bit of color and just like a print if you would just a plain long sleeve button down black going into full long sleeve is perfect i tried to keep all of these outfits simple so that you don't have to necessarily replicate what i have what I'm trying to achieve here in all of my videos is just to be able to present you with inspiration and some style options, even if you don't have necessarily exactly what I am pairing them with. I will leave as many options as I can link in the description box, so make sure to check that out if you are looking for any of these items, I'll do my best to link everything down below that I can find. So having said that, my advice would be to shop your closet. You don't have to run out and buy X because I'm showing it in my video. It's just all inspiration. I'm not here trying to make you spend money and make yourself crazy. All I'm trying to do is just give you some options and not to foreclose your mindset to certain articles of clothing that you may not try because you just don't know how to style it. So that's what I'm trying to, to give you here. In the next outfit you saw, I paired it with just a nice sort of animal print sweater with a little sort of faux turtleneck and just any sweater, any oversized sweater. You can even wear a sweatshirt with it, like an oversized sweatshirt. Clearly that would work as well. I just went with the sweater look, given that we're moving closer into fall and the cooler months. I just like that option. I paired it with black booties and we all know that booties are a staple in everyone's wardrobe at this point. High end, low end, doesn't matter. Just get yourself some booties and you'll be good to go. And then I also paired it, I just topped it off with a little hat just for just for fun, just a different look, but you know, the fall time hats, it's kind of nice. It may not be your vibe, but I can get on with a good hat, although I have such a small head that was a little big, but I tried to work with it. I just really like the color brown. I don't know what it is, but I'm really into brown this season. Now for number three, I had on a white long sleeve button down with a pullover sweater in a sort of taupish color and then on my feet i just had on more of a tannish booty 
I thought that look was really kind of cute, a little schoolgirl-ish, if you would. And then I just had a fun little, not really a tote bag, but something that actually it's more of like a laptop bag, pocketbook. It holds a lot. So I thought that was a fun look. Something actually for me that was actually outside of my, not necessarily comfort zone, but not something I would typically go with. But I thought it came together really cute. You tell me down in the comment section what you thought of all of these outfits. Which one was your favorite? Please let us know. The next outfit I had on a white tee with a denim jacket, same tan booties on. Can't go wrong with a denim jacket, so don't shy away from it. This one I've had for quite some time. I'm not sure that I'll be able to link it, but denim jackets are all over the place. And um, this is a little bit oversized, which I kind of like. I do have some more fitted ones, but for this particular look, because the leggings are so fitted, I wanted something a little bit, something with a little bit of volume on top to offset such a, a tapered look on the bottom. A t-shirt in general just is how I would style it with the denim jacket. And then the next outfit you saw was the same white tee and then I put on a flannel over it. And I did it in a little bit more of a feminine color just because I love pink if you didn't know. And I love the combination on my feet. I put on a pair of light pink Converse and I just thought the look was really cute, very casual, a little sporty, but it still looked good. And then at one point I did, you'll notice I did wrap it around my waist. The short sleeve look with the long sleeve flannel, but you can take it off if you do get too hot. But that was a really cute outfit, I thought too. Again, on the sportier side. The next outfit, I paired it with a moto jacket. For the moto style, you can wear just a plain tee underneath. Clearly, you can pair it with a graphic tee that would give a little bit more of an edgier look. I did pair it with the black booties. Again, a little bit on the edgier side. And yeah, maybe using edgy a lot, but I think I tend to use the word edgy with the moto jacket. For whatever reason, that's just the word that comes to mind. Maybe we'll just say the classy look and change it up. I love that look. Really love a really good moto jacket. And again, if you haven't seen my Walmart haul video, I did get a beautiful green moto jacket that is just so pretty. Moto jackets are great. They're very versatile. They can spice up a look. They can dress it up, dress it down, make it casual, make it classy, edgy. If I were you, I would invest in one. I don't think they're going out of style. I think they're classy and you can't go wrong with a moto. So the last look that I had was the cardigan that came down to about mid thigh and I wore it with a pair of flats. Any flats can do. You can do slip on flats. You can do closed toe flats. I just had the closed toe and I thought that looked really cute with just a black tee underneath. Again, any color that you choose to put underneath. It's more about just getting the vision of a look and then making it your own. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of let me know what you'd like to see in my upcoming videos. So please leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite outfit was, how you would change it, if you would change it. Until my next video, we'll see you soon. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and press that like button. See you in my next video. Bye.